Well, welcome everyone again. Um, first semifinal game of the NCAA Division II Central Region Tournament. The final score, Northwest Missouri State 71 and University of Minnesota Duluth 62. We're here with coaching staff from Minnesota Duluth and um, also players Drew Blair, fifth year guard, and Jack Middleton, graduate guard, along with head coach Justin Wick. So Justin, I'll have you uh, start with a statement and then we'll take questions from uh, local media. Yeah, thanks. Um, just extremely proud of our guys. Um, I guess first hats off to Northwest. They're as good as advertised um, and have been for a long time. We knew it was going to be a heavyweight fight. And um, like our guys have done all year and these guys their whole career, um, we don't back down from anybody. So um, I thought we gave ourselves a chance. Um, Guys made some big plays. Just the, the toughness level of our guys, I thought, was awesome. Wasn't good enough to get it done, but I um, so appreciative of our entire team. But it's about these two guys today that uh, have been here for five years, um, committed to us before we had even played a game, and. You know, our program won, what, three games a year before these guys got here. So um, to win 105 games and God, you can go down the line, all the, all the stuff these guys have done. Um, talk about a college career for these two guys and a college experience. Um, it doesn't get much better than that. And um, it'll sink in that the season's over here at, at some point. but. Um, I'm just more um, appreciative of these two guys and what they mean to our team, our community, our university. You don't find two better guys than are sitting right, right here next to me. And um, to come to a program who hadn't, hadn't won a lot and trust in myself and our staff, we're just telling them we're going to be good. Um, these guys did it. They did exactly what we all hoped they would do. And um, they're the ones on the floor that have done it for us these last five years. So um, I could go on and on about these two. But they deserve every single accolade and win and everything they've done. They've done it the right way and forever going to be two of the great players that have played in this program. So we'll open up to questions. Thanks. If you have a question, please identify yourself and who you are with the organization and uh, direct a question to any of these three. Go ahead. meant everything to me, I guess. Five years ago, like he said, we didn't really know what we were getting into. Um, but obviously not really a chance to look back on it yet, but just thinking about all the memories along the way and meeting my best friends and just all the stuff like that. And Coach Wake trusting us for the last five years and just super cool to be a part of the uh, transformation of this program. Um, obviously with Jack and then the, a lot of the other guys hopped on with us after one year. So um, really just special to be a part of it. And um, so happy that I made that decision, um, however long ago it was. Um, um, I'm just thankful and I can't wait to cheer these guys on uh, till the wheels fall off. Yeah, like Drew said, um, what we've been a part of is pretty special. Um, not a lot of college athletes get to have had the experiences we've had. Um, you know, met great people, and I think you know my time at Duluth has really made me into the person I am today outside of athletics as well. So, yeah, I'm just super grateful for all the support from the staff, faculty, teammates, all the families. It's it's really just a special place, and it will always hold a special place in my heart. first uh, or first half 
few had four shot attempts and then were able to get aggressive and get that offense going in the second half. What kind of flipped there? What what was working for you to, to get get going in that second half? I don't know. I guess just trying to be aggressive. Um, they did a good job. Um, Jackson's obviously a really good defender. Did his best to try and take me out of the game, face guard me and stuff. Just try to be aggressive and do what I could to help us get back in the game. And thought we made a good push there and just didn't have enough to get over the hump. Yeah, I mean, look, our guys competed their tails off. I don't have, you know, I got no no qualms with how hard they played. Um, I mean, we played the number one defensive team in the country yesterday, number two defensive team in the country today. Um, we shot 51% from the field. Uh, just those 15 turnovers were obviously probably too many, but um, they're active. Um, ton, you know, hands are everywhere. Tons of deflections and steals, and so give credit to them. I mean, listen, we're playing a team that have won what three of the last four national titles, and it's good enough to do it again. So, um, you know, I thought they hit some big shots down the stretch, which um, credit to them. You know, I mean, they rode their guys. Four guys played 40 minutes, um, so um, we could have done some things better, but um, our guys competed as hard as they've ever competed. Um, got two guys up here that uh, have left it all on the court for this program for a long time. And today was uh, no exception. Um, Jack might be Jack might be one of the quietest thousand point scorer guys that's ever been around. Going to graduate with his master's in business here in a couple weeks or a couple months. And Drew obviously all time leading scorer probably going to be an All-American by the time all the awards come out here in a little bit. Uh, he should be, and I think he will be. So these guys have done it. We ran into a heck of a team and program and coach. You know, everything about them is, is really good. Um, and, yeah, I just, I just couldn't be more proud of our guys and our team. Coach, yeah. you were able to limit their ball movement, really make things difficult for them offensively. Sturch was able to get downhill. Just what were you seeing with, with his attacks? And, and what do you see from your defense in general today? Um, we got some pretty good defenders too, right? And I think uh, we did a good job of trying to scheme for their ball screens. But um, they're just relentless with how many they said and how they set them and you know, some different angles and different things. So um, you're bound to get caught here or there. I thought um, it was as good of a game plan and execution of a game plan as as, as I could have hoped for. Um, you know, I think as a coach, you always hope you get another stop or two. But um, our guys are physical. They're athletic. Um, they can guard, too. And I think what we've found out these last couple of years is just, um, just how physical these games are. And I mean, we did it right back to them. Um, we did it last year when we won the regional. Um, you're almost playing some glorified football out there, and that's both ways. Um, so you've got to really earn it, and our guys didn't back down from that. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of things we could have done better, but I think for the most part, I was proud of how we how we guarded. Um, I thought we really stifled their offense a little bit, um, and gave ourselves a great chance to win. All right, well, if that's all the questions, congratulations on a tremendous season to University of Minnesota Duluth. Right. Thanks, guys. Yes.